Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nanaya Chester once again. So today we are discussing a very important topic. Wigs versus weaves. <laughs> if you want to know more about this, then stay tuned. But before we do that, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Nanaya of Nanaya Dresses. Be sure to subscribe. We like to talk about beauty. We like to talk about growing long, healthy hair, some self-development along the way, and some lifestyle content. If there's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so wigs versus weaves. What do we prefer? First, let's start with weaves. Okay, so usually with weaves, your hair is braided underneath. Then the hair extension is sewn over your hair. So that's usually what, usually what we call the sew ends. So sometimes in some situations, your hair is left out. Like there's a leave out where you have to put your hair over it to blend with the hair. In certain situations, thanks to, you know, molding, you know, wigs and extensions like that. Now there's front towels, there's closures, there is... Um, was that i think 360s there's a couple of them that you can actually use that you that don't require you to leave out your hair when you have a weave installed okay now about wigs with wigs your hair is actually braided under but the hair is not sewn over your hair usually the wig is you know constructed individually and then later it is placed on your head so you can take it off and put it on whenever you want to so that brings us to the pros and cons right so the pros and cons of weaves and wigs with weaves if you're somebody that you cannot help but manipulate your hair constantly and maybe where you are you're not very good at taking care of your own hair maybe doing a weave might be a good option for you especially if you don't want to always wake up and then you know go into the whole hassle of trying to put it on put it off that entire thing plus it's much more secure and that thing is that with the weight with the weaves <laughs> with the weaves you know that your hair there's no constant friction constant moving your hair is sewn down and that's it so that those are the advantages of the weaves now when it comes to the wigs well the wigs it's easy to maintain in my opinion because I can come home take this thing off by the way this is a wig I can come home take this off and then I can go to bed I can Take care of my hair underneath do my night time routine before i go to bed that's i moisturize and seal it i get to oil my scalp so if there's any form of scalp infection that i see whilst i'm wearing a wig i can quickly take off the wig treat the scalp infection and then go back to protective styling whereas with the weave i will not be able to do so it means i'll have to take down the entire sewing and then like what will be the point okay so some people will be like well wigs are quite expensive i think they are mainly expensive because of the wet themselves. So the extensions themselves are expensive, but when it comes to the construction of the weaves as compared to and, and the wigs, when you have a sewing installed here in Ghana like this, it could range anywhere from 150 Ghana CDs and up. In some cases, it even goes as high as 600 Ghana CDs to have a weave installed. When, when it comes to the wig construction, shockingly is the same price for some for most places so it makes me wonder that why would i have a wig installed a weave installed and then take it out and then lose the style rather than you know have a wig done for me some people's argument is so that sometimes they want to reuse their extensions multiple times with different hairstyles so when it's put in a wig it kind of limits that but when it's a weave they can wear it various ways on various days okay so am i team weave or team wig i am always team wig let me explain this is because as somebody who loves to change her look a lot i love to change my hairstyles a lot and i don't want to always manipulate my actual hair whilst i'm changing my hairstyles wigs are a perfect option because i have multiple wigs from fiber wigs synthetic wigs human hair wigs you name it they are all here different colors different lengths different sizes different styles whatever it is i got it so because of that i'm able to switch up my look without worrying my hair in the process for example in this case oh, let me have to get off this is a glueless wig that is installed on my hair you see that my hair is braided underneath i can always take it off and then pop it right back on so if i want to switch up my look let's say for 
an event that I'm going to and I think maybe this wig is a bit too extravagant I could go with one of my work wigs a shorter bob or something like that if I want some color in my life I could also do that for example I literally just read out my wigs and I have a new look <laughs> And all of a sudden, I have a new look. So, let's say if I'm supposed to be going for, you know, a late night event and I want a little bit of spice, I could just switch out my black wig for a much colorful one and then properly lay down, you know, my edges, do my baby hair, all that. I'm not going to do all that on camera anyway. And all my wigs, honestly, I try to make them glue less. That way, less dress for my edges. And for my hair in general so you see this is why i'll always be team wigs you can always switch up your style switch up your color try new things without actually committing to an entire thing um another thing is that with with wigs i get to take them off wash them deep condition them as often as i usually do in my hair schedule and it doesn't have to get ruined as compared to if I, if I had a weave on, it means I'm going to have to wait or I'm going to have to wash my hair whilst it's in the weave. And if it doesn't dry properly, my hair's going to get moldy and nasty and I'm going to have a lot of scalp limitations. Also, as somebody who cannot handle a lot of heat, if I have a weave on and maybe it's too hot and I just want to rip, I can't do that. I can't. It means I'll have to like ruin the entire style. But in this situation, all I have to do is just do this. And let my hair breathe for however long I want. <laughs> also, one amazing thing about wigs is that you can style them off your head. You know, get it in the way that you want it to be. Put it on and then you are ready to go wherever you want to go to. This is actually the reason why I absolutely love me some wigs. Another amazing thing about wigs is that, <laughs> yes, yeah, say hi to the other one. When it's a color you don't like, you don't like very much, or a cut you're not sure of or you're uncomfortable with, you don't have to come into it for, you know, a long time because you're trying to protect your style, your hair, and you spend so much money to get it done, so you have to wear it no matter how crusty it makes you look. No, you can just take it off and then throw on another one and learn your lesson never to do it again. One trick that I actually used to do, I still do this. Whenever I want to try a new color, like this one, or a new haircut, like this one, I always go with a wig, a synthetic version of it. So this is a synthetic wig, by the way. I go with a synthetic version, I try the particular color and cuts that I want, then if I love it, then I can invest in a human hair wig. And in some cases, when the, the wig looks very, very cute and very, very bomb, I don't even get the human hair version, I just keep the synthetic version. And the amazing thing about new synthetic wigs are that they are made in a way that you won't even be able to tell that they are not human hair wigs unless somebody points it out to you or you feel the texture. Some of them even feel so much like human hair that you can you can barely tell. Trust me, you can barely tell. Okay, so since you guys obviously know that I'm team wigs, what are some of the ways that I help take care of my hair? What's my hair done with? Like I said, I love to deep condition my hair because as much as I'm protective styling my hair, my hair also needs to be protected and nourished as though it was still out and about. So yes, I moisturize and seal every other night, like the way I would my actual hair if it was out and about. And even with when it's in a wig, I don't even have to moisturize often. Three times a week sometimes is fine for me. Sometimes even twice, but just because I don't want to get complacent, I try to do it every other night. And that way, it's moisturized, it's secure, it's safe. Another thing that I also love to absolutely do is that I deep condition weekly. So sometimes, as my hair is in the braids, I deep condition with my hair in the braids. Then I steam my hair like I would if my hair was out and flying around. I wash it, then I let it air dry completely. Sometimes, unless I'm going somewhere that I need it to dry quickly, and I stand up, I hold a dryer so that I can dry quickly and not have any form of mold. I get to oil my scalp every other night or every night, and I get to massage my scalp every night. This helps to stimulate hair growth whilst my hair is protected. Also, sleep with a satin pillowcase or a satin scarf or a satin bonnet. 
or all three if you're like in your rough sleep like hi <laughs> that's actually something i do it helps protect my hair whilst my hair is braided down because whilst my hair is braided down you might think it's not reacting on other stuff but it's a friction another amazing thing you can do whilst you're wearing your wigs is that see our hair is usually braided and we pop the wig on one thing I can advise is that invest in a certain um, accessory of sort, like a certain scrunchie. Let me just grab one to show you. It's a certain, you know, hair accessories all over. So I try to tie it up and then I put it in the, at the back of my head. It also actually helps to give my head that whole volume at the back of my head. Then before I put my wigs on. But sometimes if I think maybe I want the wig to lay flat, I will just pin the ends of my hair up and I try to baggy them every night that way they can withstand all the stress of life and I oil them as well so let me know what are some of your tricks for making sure that your hair is healthy whilst you wear wigs in the comment section as always Nanea Chessis I hope you love my little charade of wigs and I'll see you next time